She's articulate, she's passionate, and she tells the truth about health. She's Dr. Holly. It's time for the Dr. Holly Lucille Show. Hey folks, thanks so much for coming back. Okay, listen, most of us probably associate the application of clay to the body with expensive facials and mud bath beauty treatments delivered in exotic day spas. I know all about that while I live here in the Beverly Hills area in Los Angeles. So, but today we are gonna be talking about so much more when it comes to clay and I've got just the person to help me do that. His name is Daryl Bosshart. He uh, is, excuse me, Bosshart. He is an expert in therapeutic clay healing. Daryl, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me on today. Yeah, you and I were talking just a little bit before the show got started, and I was telling you, and we're just going to repeat this, the very first book that I actually had as a, a curious, uh, more natural healing kind of gal was, and it was, and you said it, say it. Yeah, it's a book called Our Earth, Our Cure, written by a French natural path, Raymond Dextry. I used that book, and I still have it. I mean, and it really, it just, it was fascinating to me. Yeah, it's an excellent book, and, and actually that was the same book that kind of introduced you to clay healing, was the same book that introduced my family. This was back in the 70s, and this group of, <laughs> we, we have a, a natural salt deposit in Utah, the natural sea salt from ancient seabed called real salt, and we also have this ancient um, clay deposit, and in the 70s, this group of health food, we called them health food nuts at the time, walked into <laughs> our office and and they wanted to buy clay, and we said, great, it, it, we've got this great clay deposit. It works great for facials and these things and spider bites, and it works for industrial use. What do you want to use it for? And they said, we want to eat it. And we said, you guys are nuts. We learned in kindergarten we don't eat dirt. And, <laughs> and, and they produced this book, the same book that you were introduced to, Our, Our Earth, Our Cure. And, and it was crazy. This book says the right kind of clay can be used for all kinds of things externally, but also internally. And uh, and so we, back in the 70s, thought these guys were crazy, but over the last 30 years, you know, we've realized that almost everything that Beck Street says in his book that Clay will do, it does. Uh, and, and we have it right here on the earth. You've got it. Sorry, so how does Clay work? I mean, so tell me more about, uh, and, and specifically, Redmond Clay. Yeah, so there's, when I say somebody ought to go out and eat clay, I'm not suggesting you go into your backyard and just find a handful of any old dirt or clay. There's some special clays out there, and they have some pretty amazing properties. And the reason people use clay is it goes back to indigenous cultures. And even, you know, if an elephant gets hurt, an elephant doesn't run to the vet. An elephant runs to the mud. (laughs) And he rolls in the mud, and the mud draws out the thorn or the thistle. And if you watch animals in nature, they also will find clay deposits and eat it because of the way it works. So topically... Clay works by extracting impurities, increasing circulation, which is why every diva since Cleopatra's put clay on her face. Um, it's also great for guys, and just like it works for a beast, or a facial works for a bee sting. But internally, the right kind of clay has four pretty incredible properties. And the first one is clay has um, ability, it looks a lot like a sponge, and so it absorbs, works a lot like activated charcoal. So people sure. use clay for detox, like you'd use activated charcoal. That's the first reason. The second one is it also adsorbs. Um, think of a magnet. So a sponge will draw stuff into it, but a magnet draws stuff onto it. And right. the clay particle, the right kind of clay, is really negatively charged. We call this cation exchange capacity. This negative charge binds stuff to it, and so as it's passing through the body, it actually is kind of a scavenger and grabbing a hold of free radicals and, and positively charged heavy metals, just like a chelator, because it's negatively charged and it's binding those as it's, as it's going through the system. And then clay is also has a very high pH. It's very alkaline. So a lot of people will use clay for acid issues and stomach issues. It's not an acid blocker. It's just an alkaline mineral that can help settle off acidity. Wow. And this is something now, uh, do people, and I, I know bentonite clay is very uh, popular when people are going through certain detoxes and such. Is this something that you recommend that folks use on a daily basis? You know, there's two schools of thought on that, and there's some naturalists and, and uh, natural practitioners who will recommend cycling through clay. If you go back to Raymond Dextreet's book, he likes to recommend clay on a daily basis. And so I'm not sure if there's a 100% right answer for everybody. I, I liked in your previous clip with your previous guest, you were talking about how the body wants to heal and the body wants to do its right job, and we just kind of need to give it the, the elements to do that, and I think clay can be kind of part of that. 
Yeah, that's, I mean, because, well, you know, I always think about things to do on a daily basis for daily detox, because we certainly have low level exposure on a daily basis uh, to environmental things that we just simply don't have all the control that we, 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 we would like to have over. And so sometimes, you know, I think about ways to just keep on balancing that out. We know that we're getting exposure. I know here in Los Angeles, I breathe in that air. And I think about little ways uh, to do that. Uh, on a daily basis. So this, this sounds like a great idea, uh, quite honestly, for me. Um, how, do you, how do people find a good clay? Like what characteristics should they be looking for? Uh, one for internal use and then also for external use. And is there a difference? Um, the, any that's a really good clay for internal use can also be used externally, but there are clays for external use that you probably don't want to use internally. Yeah. Um, and so the, you, you mentioned a term earlier, and that was bentonite clay, and bentonite clay is a great place to start. There's actually seven different classes of clay. One of those is semictite, and under that family there's a bentonite clay. You also hear that same term as montmorillonite. It's kind of a term that's depending on... Th- those are very similar, so if you get a bentonite clay or a montmorillonite clay, you're okay with those. And then to ask the manufacturer how is it handled or how is it processed. Unfortunately, today there's a lot of things that we do to our food. Uh, many of those we probably shouldn't do. And I usually find it best to ask manufacturers, what are they not doing to it? And what are they doing to it? Because there's a lot of things in nature. An apple is great, but by the time we run it through processes and heats and all kinds of stuff, I believe you're better off going with the apple in most cases. That's right. That's a good point. That's a really good point. Well, and you've got a lovely website that I want people to know about because... um, uh, I think it's so important. Uh, the last thing I want to do is get great information out on on the airwaves, and then people are left like, "Well, wait, where? Where can I get some of the, some of these great things?" So Redmond Trading uh, dot com. That's R E D M O N D Trading dot com. Um, people can learn more about uh, your family, the history, these minerals, the clays, uh, and all sorts of other things. Yeah, you know, we, we are uh, a, a local business here in Utah, and I've, I've been around um, the natural salt and the natural clay world for a lot of years. We have a lot of good information on the website. And sometimes, you know, we did talk a little about detox. Every time I'd like to come back and we can visit about a salt purge and using salt as a way to cleanse and detox the body, in addition to some of the other great, you know, detoxes that are out there in the market today. Oh, I mean, I you're are you kidding? I'll book you right after we get off because I think that, you know, detox is still sort of, um, there's a, I had a conversation with a friend of mine the other day and she called and we have a business relationship more or less. And so she was a little reticent to ask me more professional questions, but I said, you know, Hey, let, let me see. I'll just, let's take a stab at it. And she was so confused about, um, she wanted to go on a detox and, and bless her heart. It was going to be seven years before she was done because she was going about it in one organ at a time almost. And it was this very, oh, wow. re, yes, redundant process. And I thought, I know that there's some easier ways. And so of course I'm going to have you on for that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now uh, it's interesting. Your company, Redmond Training, it produces a clay toothpaste. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, so growing up as a, as a kid, maybe it was because my dad was a genius or because he was cheap, um, he would have us brush our teeth with a mixture of, of 50% salt and 50% clay. Um, and it worked really well for me. I didn't have cavities as a kid and, and don't now. Um, excellent product. And, and we didn't really know why it worked, but we do know a lot more now. And the nice thing about our product, if you look at, if you went and bought a toothpaste off the shelf today at a health food store, there's all kinds of ingredients listed. Um, some things that you really want to avoid. Some things are maybe you know not terrible, but if you can have a lot cleaner product, why not? So our clay toothpaste, the clay's the polisher, the salt's a cleanser. If you've ever had a tooth extracted, they've told you to gargle with salt water because of the way it heals the gums and cleans the mouth. Yeah. And so the base product is the clay. It's rich in minerals. Your teeth are made of calcium phosphate, or the primary minerals in enamel. And awesome. the clay's rich in calcium phosphate. It's also got the natural sea salt, and then we use, um, in some of it we use a little bit of xylitol as a, as a sweetener, and then some of we don't have any sweetener All in right. it. All right, Daryl, I'm going to have um, to have you back. Oil. Are the, and essential oils. That is great. That is a product that's going in every single, that, I'm getting that. Daryl Bossart, thank you so much. You can find more on redmondtrading.com. This is Dr. Holly Lucille, Mindful Medicine. Thanks so much for listening.